Let's say we're asked to multiply the two binomials 4x plus 7y and 3x minus 2y. We start just as we have in previous examples by distribution, which is to say we multiply 4x by both 3x minus 2y, indicated here, and then we add to that 7y getting multiplied by 3x minus 2y, written here. At this stage, we've turned this massive problem into something far more manageable. We can certainly distribute the 4x into both of these terms. We can also definitely distribute the 7y into both of these terms. So let's start by doing that. When we distribute, we can put the 4 and the 3 next to each other. The x times the x can be written next. Similarly, 4 times the negative 2 can be written as negative 4 times 2 x times the y will just get written as it is. 7 times the 3 comes here, and then y times x is written so. And lastly, negative 7, or positive 7 times negative 2, we can pull the negative out and just write 7 times 2 with a y times y left over at the end. At this stage, we can multiply the constant coefficients together and also use the product rule where we can. 4 times 3 will give us a 12. x times x, using the product rule of exponents, gives x squared. Negative 4 times 2 yields 8. x times y just comes along as it is. 7 times 3 gives us 21. And then finally, y times x is just yx. There's nothing we can do with that. And lastly, 7 times 2 gives us a 14, with a minus coming along for the right. And then y times y yields y squared. Now you might think that we're done here, but we do actually have like terms. xy and yx are like terms because of the commutative property of multiplication. We can rearrange these two terms or these two variables and still have the same exact problem. So here we have negative 8xy, and here in hiding or in plain sight, we have 21xy as well. And if we combine like terms here, we're going to end up with 12x squared, which comes along as it is, the negative 14y squared comes along as it is, but negative 8xy and the 21xy add together to give us 13xy.